getting set for the weekly boxing, kickboxing, cardio session live right here from the Peak Freak Cave. You see we're indoors today because we, it's winter time here so it gets windy so the thing would just blow over the camera and then it starts all kinds of fires and all kinds of weird shit happens. So winter time in California drops below 80 degrees, everyone loses their damn minds. So we're inside here in the cellar of the cave. Make sure you have your pre-workout. Make sure you have your water, your hydration. Make sure you take all weapons off of you. You need to have that weapon off and you should always have a weapon on you. You should always have a sharp object on you. You never know when you might need to carve apples or carve a pumpkin or something. You should always have something on you at all times or two or three things and we won't show the other ones that you should have on you. But anyway, get your gloves out, get your water, your pre-workout, get ready. I'm just gonna take a last sip of my Herbalife Trulene concoction. We'll do a separate video on what's inside this Later on, crawl, what is up? From Scranton, PA. All right, so last sip of that. If you have a bag, use the bag. You can see I'm gonna be in the air today because we're inside the cave, inside the dungeon today. Tighten up the shoes. So I'm not even gonna be hitting a bag today, but you'll see, you still could get a crazy workout even if you don't have a bag, doesn't matter. Even if you have gloves, you wanna add a challenge. Put a bottle of water in each hand, a light dumbbell, whatever the hell you want. A can of soup, a can of peaches. Peaches are the universal food of the apocalypse, of the end of the world. In the movies, people are always killing each other over a can of peaches. And in real life, it turns out it's really just toilet paper. But whatever. You can use toilet paper for your, for your weight in your hands. Alright, so we're going to get started. We're going to get warmed up. You can get your gloves on. Right away, we're gonna do some punching, some kicking, tons of punching, literally hundreds and hundreds of punches and kicks, some knees, and also, of course, tons of exercise. So let's get loosened up, let's get ready to roll. First, we're gonna stretch out the hamstrings, the back, wide stance with the feet, and I'll adjust that Facebook camera because Facebook, we're on Facebook, and then Instagrams. Wide feet, wide the shoulder width, reach down, touch the floor of the middle, and reach both arms up, stretch the upper back. Reach both hands to the right leg. Fling the chest open out to the side. Oh, my bad. Back to the middle and up. Middle or left, out. Middle, up, right, out. Fling it open. Middle, up, left, out. Fling it, fling it. Middle, up. We're just loosening up. Right, out. One more time across. Middle, up, left, out. And middle, up, get that stretch of the hamstrings, hips, lower back at the bottom, and up. All right, we're going to come forward. As you're walking forward, fling those shoulders forward. Loosen them up for all the punches we're about to do. Then come backwards. Shoulder circles back. Oh, my bad. My bad. Backwards. Forward. Coming forward. And back. Coming back. Just getting them loosened up. Now start flinging the shoulders in and out as you walk forward. Catch a right stretch as you're walking backwards. Fling it open, right arm on top, left arm on top, loose. Fling it and catch the left stretch and walk backwards while you're stretching the left stretch. Watch out, you freaks! I'll, 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 start, I'll start dropping fools around here. I will start just freaking helicoptering your asses. Shit, you got the little tiny gloves, this is gonna hurt. Alright, keep walking forward. In and out. Get distracted by these nut jobs. <laughs> stretch the right shoulder. Walk forward. In and out. And stretch the left shoulder. Done. Right in place. You're going to go quad stretch. Hold it for three seconds. Other quad stretch. Hold it for three seconds. Knee hug. And knee hug. You did the workout with us here. When was it? Tuesday. That was also a public workout. You probably just, I'm still feeling that shit in my legs and glutes and quads and hamstrings. They are still sore. Are you still sore? That workout kicked my ass. I don't even remember what we did. Oh, it was the push ups and the squats and all that. Stretch it. Knee hug, knee hug, quad, quad. And Tuesday as well with zero equipment. Zero equipment. And I'm in fairly decent shape. And Little Freak Show did it with me, is in fairly decent shape. And my legs are freaking still sore from that from the other day. All right, get in your boxing stance. Left leg forward, right leg back. Hands are up, up at your cheekbones. Your elbows are not flared out to the sides. They should be in tight to your ribs. Your chin is tucked. You're looking up through your eyelids. On the balls of your feet. A little bounce in your step. It's going to put our first two punches together. Our one is our straight left. 
Our two is our straight right. Just put those two together to loosen up. One, two. Right down the middle. One, two. What do you want? This other camera is just on you. It's blocked oh, everyone out except for you. No, it's just on you. It's even blocking him out. You have a blocker on the camera, putting everyone out except for yourself, and you're not even teaching the class. It says you smile back there doing selfies of yourself. Next you're gonna turn around and start doing pictures of your ass. Jeez, it's for instructional purposes, not for selfie purposes. All right, one, two, right down the middle. There's multiple cameras here on all different channels. Right down the middle. Straight left, straight right. Make sure you're pivoting that right foot, turning the right hip when you throw that right hand. Right down the middle. One, two. Little bounce, little flow, little head movement, little rhythm in between. Right down the middle. Straight line. Twist that wrist over. So your palm starts facing it, ends up facing the floor, almost like a corkscrew. They're like two trains, bam, crossing on the track. While one's coming back, the other one's going forward. Bouncing your step. Hop, hop. Right down the middle. One, two. One, two. And good. Shake them, shake them, shake them. Bounce it out. Bounce it. Bounce on your feet. We're just getting warmed up. Just getting the blood flowing. Ready to kick some ass. All right. Let's go to our hooks. Three is our left hook. Four is our right hook. Just put those two together. Three, four. And reset. Bounce around. Move around. Move around. Move around. Get some space. Three, four. Oh, yeah. Three, four. Ha! Oh, you want some? Oh, you want some? Ha, ha! Three, four. And move around. Bounce. Pivot. Move. Three, four. Hips, hips, hips. Turn the body. Three and four. It's like, you're, like a door swinging on the hinges. Your elbow should be bent 90 degrees and moving parallel to the floor. Three, four. Breathe and recover in between. Little bounce, little flow. Three, four. Reset. Hands up, hands up. Three, four. Let's do it. Bounce and flow. And time. Shake them, shake them, shake them. Bounce it, bounce it. Geez, that Instagram one looks like gumby arms there. Wait, which one? When they move, just see my arms. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to go uppercuts. Five is your left uppercut. Six is your right uppercut. Let's go five, six. And crunch. Get your waist, your abs, obliques. Let's go. Crunch, crunch. Five, six. And reset. See, it's a little short punch. I'm not reaching from back here. Not some big old haymaker, hay, buster, hay buster punch that's going to get your face all exposed. It's in here tight, tight. And it says boom, boom. Five, six. And reset. Right down the middle. Think about landing these up underneath the chin or into the gut. Oh, knockout. Five, six. Left upper. Now I know he's going to come after me. I got to watch in the camera when you're creeping. Got to look for out when you're creeping up on me. Ha, ha. Five, six. I can't see anything. Left upper, right upper. And boom. There it is. Shake it, shake it, shake it. All right, listen up. We are going to do some exercise here today also, but every combo, every set is going to start with two jabs. Who's up there? Callie Styles, 415 on Instagram. What's going on? Tattoo artist. All right. So every combo we do is going to start with just a double jab. So two jabs, whatever the combo is. After we hit the combo, it's going to finish with a single leg strike. That could be either a right kick. It could be a left kick. It could be a right knee or it could be a left knee. I don't care which one it is. Just mix them up. Just go with whatever comes out. You do two times right kick in a row, doesn't freaking matter. If you do more knees than kicks, doesn't matter. It's just one single leg strike after each combo. So let's just say our combination was a one, two, like we just practiced, right? I still, I keep turning this, and what do you have, an automatic sensor for it to just follow you around? Like a, a remote control? Because I keep going off the screen on that camera. I'm trying to teach this shit, and I just see you over there smiling, fixing your hair, doing some duck lips back there. There's no, there's no duck lips in boxing class, okay? All right. So we are going to go, if our combo is a one, two, we're going to start the combo with what? Double jab. I was talking to him. Really? With what? Double jab. Double jab. Hop, hop. Then we hit our combo, one, two, and any kind of leg strike. I did a right kick. So let's start with the double jab again. Our combo, one, two, and I'm going to go left knee. Ooh, you're lucky to walk into that one. I hope you got a good dental plan, kid. Dental. Right down. It's double jab. Combo is one, two, boom. And a lower 
rise strike. Don't think on lower rise strike. Just go with what comes out. Mix it up. You don't even have to go in order. It doesn't have to be like you're doing a left kick, then a right kick, left knee, right knee. Just mix it up. Don't think. Just go. Pop, pop. One, two. Left knee. And reset. Bounce around. Move around here in between. Move around. Flow. Boom! A foot in the face. Yeah. The, look how wide this camera is. This face is. And you're just on my ass. Every time I feel a, a, a Russian breeze coming by. Oh, yeah. Shit, man. So much space. This thing is like wide as hell. You're just trying to get in on all three cameras, aren't you? To make sure. Let's go. Double jab. One, two. And a left kick. Just mix up that single strike. So again, don't forget. Every combo starts with a double jab. Just a left, right, a left, left, a straight left. Then our combo is a one, two, and then finish with any leg strike. Either a left knee, right knee, left kick, right kick. Doesn't matter, just let it freaking flow. Let's roll. One, two, left kick. Double jab. One, two, right knee. See how just adding an extra lower body strike in does not matter. Double jab. One, two. Right knee. Again, look at that. Double up right knee. That's just what came out. Don't care. It doesn't matter. I'm in the mood for more knees today, so I'm going to do more knees than kicks. Do whatever you want. You have a bag, you can do some roundhouse kicks on it. Whatever works. One, two. Left kick. And time. So now you see how it goes. Our next combo. We did three, four in the warm up. This combo is going to be a four, three. All right, so it's a right hook, left hook, four, three, boom, boom. So that means you're going double jab, four, three, lower body strike, leg strike. Going in three, two, one, let's roll, freaks. Double jab, four, three, boom. And the right knee, again, double jab, four, three, left knee, and reset. Double jab. Boom, boom, four, three, left kick. Breathe it out, breathe it out. What the fuck is going on back there? What the hell is going on back there? The Russian spin. Jeez. And this, what is this one doing? Riding a school bus skateboard with no clothes on. Four, three, bam. And a knee. Reset, reset. Boom, boom, bam. So that jab is just setting up your combo. It's not a four punch combo. Get, I want you to make sure you know that. So it's a two, a double jab, then your combo. So it's not just here all combined together. You could mix it together, let the, let the, the combo flow off the one one if you want, but it doesn't have to be. You try both ways. Sometimes where it just goes, it flows, boom, boom, boom. You see that? And then bam. Or it could also go reset, boom, boom, and then your lower body strike. But keep moving. Already, should we get your heart rate up there? Should we get your body temperature up there? We are flowing. Double jab. Four, three. Bam, with a knee. Move around, flow. Four, three. Left kick. Double jab. Four, three. Oh, roundhouse kick. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> oh, you try to kick me in the miss? If I try to kick you in the butt, I won't miss. I can kick anywhere in this room. If I'm in your butt, I can kick anywhere in this room and I'll hit it. <laughs> Bam! The butt is so big, it takes pop, up the whole pop. room. <laughs> Four, three, left knee. Time! All right, so we're getting warmed up. We're getting the blood flowing. Woo! Getting our freak on. We got uppercuts. This one, we're going to go. Five, six. So the opposite, or the same arm. So after that double jab, it's going to be that same arm. Five, six. Lower body strike. We are going in three, in two, one. in one. Boom. Let's roll. Double jab. Five, six. Lower body strike. Either a kick or a knee. Either side doesn't matter. Five, six. Right knee. Keep it moving. Bounce around. Keep rolling. Keep flowing. Pop, pop. Five, six. Right kick. 
So don't forget, your combo is just the 5-6. That's your focus on that 5-6. You're just starting everything off with a double jab, finishing everything off with a lower body strike. Use the space you have. Move around. Use the area. Circle around. Once you know the combo, you don't need to watch my ugly ass. Just move around, circle around. So jab. Five, six. Bam. Use the space you have. Flow and rhythm. Find a punch a wall, punch a cow, couch, punch a Russian. Do something. Russian. Boom, boom. Knee. Ooh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> don't start with him. I don't give a shit what the combo is anymore, I'm just gonna kick you. <laughs> come near me, I'm kicking you. I don't care what the combo is, you come near me, I'm kicking you, boy. I'll do some weird kung fu stuff. Yeah, very smooth. Our <laughs> boxers, we're not kung fuers. Five, six, boom! Drive that knee in, bounce, bounce in your steps. You be on the balls of your feet, moving around, light on your feet. Five, six. Boom! That knee right up the middle. Get some energy. Get some flow. Get some freaking intensity. And let's keep rolling. Five, six. Boom! Oh yeah. And then bounce and reset. Time. All right. Check it out. We're going to do our, our combo, technically, is going to be right here. Two push-ups. Two push-ups. With the same rules applying as the punches. Just we want to get some a couple exercise in here. Get the punt break from those combinations. So two push-ups is our exercise or combination. So we're still here with our gloves, right? We still have to go. Double jab. Get your two push-ups. Get up. Boom. With your lower body strike. Got it? Let's do it. Going in three, two, one. Ding, ding, ding. Go. Double jabs. Get down there for your two push-ups. Pump them out. Come up right in. So as you're coming up, it's that lower body strike. Right back to that double jab. Get your two push-ups in. Come up. Boom. For that lower body strike. Just mix up your lower body strikes. Double jab. Two push-ups. Right knee for me. Whatever leg it is, don't think you have to follow or wait to see what kick I'm doing. You just go. Just let it freaking flow. That's all you gotta worry about. Where's the shit? Where's the shit yourself? Huh? Double, double jab. Go down. Two push-ups. Come up. Right knee. Squat thrust down there to get down there for those push-ups. Bump it. Come up. And I'm going with a left kick. Just keep it moving. Kick. In between. Hands up. Move around. Flow. A little rhythm. Pop, pop. Squat thrust down there for those two push-ups with your gloves on your knuckles. Ha! Couple more, couple more. Right back down. Pump them out. Come up. Boom. One more, one more. Pop, pop. Get down there. Two pushes. And kick. Time. All right, right now our exercise is going to be two squat jumps. Two squat jumps. Do you see the numbers I'm holding up? All right, so you can guess how many fingers I'm holding up. And guess which one it is. Guess which finger I'm holding up. Uh, on irregular finger. The irregular finger? What the hell does that mean? All right. Exercise two squat jumps. No, we're starting. That's over here. All right, so it's double jab, right? Two squat jumps with my sore ass legs and then a kick. Reset. Squat jump, squat jump, and then boom, into that lower body strike, either left knee, right knee, left kick, right kick, whatever works. Whatever flows, doesn't matter. Let's go, double jab, pop it, pop, pop. Two squat jump. Drive that knee, or kick. Lower body strike, hands up. Two squat jumps, boom. Hands up while you're doing those lower body strikes so you don't get Tapped on your chin. Hands up. Two squat jump. Oh yeah, into a left knee. Move it around, move it around. Pop, pop. Squat jump for two. Boom. Kick. Double jab. 
Squat jump for two. Boom. Right knee. Keep it moving. High energy. I need some high energy. I need you to put the hell out. Put the F out. Pop, pop. Put the, put the hell out or get the hell out. That's the way you need to be thinking about it. Two squats up. Uh. Pop, pop. Two squat jumps. And lower by strike. Come on, a couple more. Two more, two more. Okay. Hands up, hands up. Flow. Squat. Hand jump. Boom. Squat. And jump for two, and bam! Time! All right, check it out, check it out. We are gonna go to some three punch combos coming up. Shake it, stretch it, hydrate it, do what you gotta do. It should be nice and warmed up by now, blood flowing. Actually, I should have taken these knives off. It's good to train them. I actually found a good knife that you can wear on shorts that doesn't even, even if they don't have a belt or anything, it clips right on, but it's so light, it's still sturdy. Did a long run in it the other day, it's totally fine, you forget it's even there. You should always need a knife, you never need to know. You might be in the middle of a run and need to carve a pumpkin or something. You never know. Pumpkin. Might need it in the middle of your three mile run. It might just be a pumpkin there, you wanna slice off some apples, you never know what you might need that for on your three mile run. <laughs> All right, because it'd be kind of hard to run with my Uzi strapped to my hip, so. Uzi. All right, let's roll. Combo, simple stuff. We're going to the, start with the basics, then we're gonna go from there and mix up the combos. So we're gonna start off with just a one, two, three. So that's straight left, straight right, left hook. But don't forget, it starts with a double jab, it finishes with the single lower body strike. All right, let's roll. So one, two, three is your combo. Let's do it. So double jab. One, two, three. Lower body strike, either a knee or a kick. Either way, if you're on a bag, you do a roundhouse kick Jumping or a front kick. kick. Whatever works. Jumping. Do the crane kick. Uh -huh. Why not? Why not? That's what Daniel Son did. Pop, pop. One, two, three. Boom, and kick or knee. Double jab. One, two, three. Boom. Keep rolling, keep rolling. The purpose of why we're doing this is your real combination that you want to do. I could set you could set that up with your double jab. That double jab is pop, pop, just to get a reaction. Then you're gonna load up on your real punches to get those hands up and whap finish with the lower body strike. Think about it, perfect fighting technique. Stiff jab, pop in the face, to then load up on the boom, the real ones, and boom. Follow it up. All right, let's do it. One, two, three. Boom. Picture in your head which lower body strike you're gonna do. Where do you see the opening? Is it a leg that just needs to be chopped down like a tree? Is the gut wide open after you do that one, two, three, you're gonna go knee right to the gut. Or maybe the hands are flailing up and you're just gonna drive it straight to the chin and send teeth and blood flying all over the place. Whatever works. Whatever works, visualize. That's what I see in my head when I'm throwing that knee. It's just a chin that's tough. And it's like, ooh, need a chin, bam. And you just see white chunks of tooth and flesh flying around. That's what goes out of my mind as I'm throwing every knee. But that's just me. Whatever works for you, freaks. Double, jab. One, two, three. Boom, with the knee. Reset, bounce and flow. Little rhythm. Pop, pop. One, two, three. Kick. Lower body strike every time. We're entering in with a double jab. We're getting our full combination and exiting with a lower body strike. Kick or knee to finish off. Let's do it. One, two, three. Boom, left kick. Move around, bounce around, little flow, little rhythm. Pop, pop. One, two, three. Right kick. You should have movements. You see my feet are constantly moving, always bouncing. Flowing, head is moving when you're in between combinations. Move around. Just this movement alone, if you did this for an hour, you could lose 50 pounds in freaking six months. If you just did this, just move around with some footwork and didn't even throw a freaking punch. That's really how easy it is to lose some weight if you weren't eating like a pig, all right? If you're just having some discipline. You literally, it's so easy to lose weight, I'm telling you. Just need some fucking discipline and consistency and accountability. That's all it takes. Pop, pop. One, two, three, boom. 
Because I'm moving around here, just as moving around, my legs are burning, my abs are working, I'm get, breaking a sweat, I'm getting out of breath, my heart rate's up. It's all freaking takes is movement. Just freaking move. One, two, three. Boom! One more, one more, one more. Ha, ha. Boom, boom, boom. And knee. Time, all right? Combo here is going to be four, five, six. Four is the right hook. Five is the left upper. Six is the right upper, so it's a four, five, six. Of course, entering into that with a double jab, exiting out of that with the single lower body strike. We are going in three, two, one, one. go, we're rolling. Double jab, four, five, six, lower body strike. Pop, pop, then boom, 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 whack. And reset. Bounce around in that reset. I want to see some energy. I want to feel your infectious energy through the freaking internet. Pop, pop. Four, five, six. Boom, drive the knee. Move around. Pop, pop. Four, five, six. Pop. Do you hear something? Naked roller skating school bus. Naked roller skating school bus. It's only that goes on in this freak house. Pop, pop, four, five, six, whap, move around, freaks. Need some energy, sidekick. sidekick. We don't really do much of sidekicks. We're not much of sidekickers. Pop, pop, four, five, six. We can be the front kick or roundhouse. We don't, we're not sidekickers. We're, we're Eckers. We're too clumsy and not flexible enough for sidekicks. We need, we need freaking Daniel San or, Mio, or Miyagi San. Pop, pop, four, five, six, boom. Pop, pop, four, five, six, bang, boom, right in the middle with that knee. Double jab, combo is hook, upper, upper, drive that lower body strike, and then bounce and flow and move. Four, five, six, kick. Sit in between, get those hands up. And time. Can you do a knee straight to a front kick? Like, like well, a front kick is kind of a knee, but that would be stupid. What are you gonna, that, the knee's going to land. What's the front kick going to do after that? Farther reach? <laughs> you can do a front kick followed by a knee, same side. Okay, let's try. All right, let's try. No. <laughs> Oh, oh, knockout. Glad you asked and asked to volunteer for demonstration. Appreciate it. All right, sticking with three punch combos. We're going to do the reverse of the first combination. So we're going to be on a three, two, one. So that's left hook, straight right, straight left. Three, two, one. Of course, starting with a double jab, finishing with a single leg leg strike. Let's do it. Going in three, two, one. Ding, ding, ding. Begin. Double jab. Three, two, one. Lower body strike. Reset, bounce, flow, rhythm. Listen, if my uncoordinated white ass can get a little bounce and a little flow to rhythm, there is hope for everyone out there. There's hope. There's hope. Pop, pop. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Pop, pop. Three, two, one. Lower body strike. Move around, bounce around, a little flow. Three, two, one, boom. And reset. Keep moving. Ooh, I must do the combo first. Pop, pop, that double jab. Three, two, one, knee. Oh, yeah. Three, two, one, boom. Move around, use that space you have. A little flow, a little energy, a little bounce. Three, two, one. Bam, with the right knee. Double jab. Three, two, one. Boom. Slow down. You're making me look fat and slow. You're making me look fat, and slow, and old. You need to slow that shit down. That is unacceptable. Those little pitter pats. Those little pitter pats. I can go that fast. I can go that fast too. Just like this. Come on. 
How about this? Ah! Yeah. Fat. <laughs> Making me look fat and slow and old. Pop, pop. Three, two, one. Boom. Keep rolling with that combination. I want to take a quick story. See how can we can make jokes with a, a, a little nine-year-old. And people say, oh my gosh, how could you make those kind of jokes? It's just a child. Because we don't desensitize them and turn them into weak, little, soft, little humans that are offended by everything and, 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 and hurt by everything. So they can grow up and have a mind of their own and think for their own and, and have thicker skin and not get affected or offended by every time someone blinks their eyes at them the wrong way or whatever the hell else goes on out there in the world. Anyway, back to the combination. You get me off track. Ho, ho, ho. Ha. Bounce and flow and rhythm. Pop, pop. Three, two, one. Lower body strikes. Couple more. Three, two, one. Kick. One more. Boom and time. Next combination is going to be the reverse of the second three punch combo we did, which was four, five, six. Now we're going to do a six, four, six, five, four. So it's six, five, four. So that's right upper, left upper, right hook. Of course, like the whole day we've been doing, is start with the double jab, finish with the lower body strike. Go in three, two, one, and begin. Pop, pop, six, five, four, lower body strike, reset, bounce, 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 pop, pop, six, five, four, lower body strike, leave with that double jab, six, five, four, boom, right here, pop, pop, six, five, four, Boom, with a kick. You should have it be on your horse, bouncing around on the balls of your feet, heels off the floor, the whole entire time. So you're full of energy, you're all over the place, you're already moving, so when it's time to punch, it's easy just to flow right into the punch. Six, five, four, right knee. Moving around. Ha, 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 ha. ha. There should be no behind the scenes here. Oh. <laughs> you don't be in prison. Pop, pop. Six, five, four, boom. Keep moving, keep rolling. This is the madness. This is Sparta. Ha, ha, ha. Booms! Can you a little weirdo? Pick five, four, spoon! Double jab, pop, pop. Six, five, four. Drive the knee. Couple more, couple more. Oops. Six, five, four. Left knee, time! Shake it, shake it, shake it! We're gonna go back into some exercises here. Hydrate, stay hydrated. Look out. Check out that water jug, that water bottle. Has a pouch for your rifle magazines, additional ammo or mags if you need to. Cause you never know when you're drinking, you might need to reload. Never know, <laughs> never know. That is just All right. So we're going to the exercises here. Our exercise right here is two plank jacks. Push up position, feet jumping apart and together just two times, that's it. Two plank jacks. So the way we need to go is right here. Let's go, begin, just follow, you already know it, you already know how it goes. So hit your two jabs, squat thrust down here, jump your feet apart together two times, jump in and get your lower body strike. So even though it's just an exercise and not a combo, we're still sticking to the rules of the day. Lead with the two jabs, finishing with a single lower body strike. Let's do it. Pop, pop. Two high plank jacks. One, two. Come up. Bam. I've been wondering if you knocked the camera down. Done it before. We kicked the camera before. Really? We punched it. We punched it. 
And mix up those lower body strikes. Every time you come up, <coughs> pop, pop. Come down for those two plank jacks. Feet jump apart and together twice from the push-up position and lower body strike. Two jabs, two jacks. There's a basketball rolling across the floor almost just busting my ass on. You people don't love to see that out there, huh? See, so step on a basketball, wipe out, and crack my skull on the floor. You already got a kick out of that shit. Jump back. Two jacks. Come in. Get your lower body strike. Right into it. Right down. Keep flowing. Pop. Pop. Two plank jacks. squat, single lower body strike, going in three, two, one, rolling, pop, 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 squat right, pop, squat left, lower body strike, pop, double jab, right hand touch the floor, left hand touch the floor, come up, mix up those lower body strikes. Starting with the double jab. Mixing the punches with these exercises should have your heart rate up there. Get your sweat going. But also using your freaking brain to keep it flowing. Boom. Using your entire body here, literally. Strength, cardio, conditioning, balance, coordination, core. We are working, boom, it all right here. I combine these punches with the exercises. Boom. Double jab, pop, squat right, pop, squat left, kick, reset, pop, 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 squat, pop, squat, bam with the knee. Move around between. Your reset in between is getting back to your stance, bouncing back around, getting that bounce, getting that balance, and that rhythm. Pop, squat right. Then left and kick. Pop, pop, squat, squat, boom. Couple more, couple more. Boom. Ah, squat, bam, and time. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Get ready, stay hydrated, keep rolling. Get a drink, hydrate yourself, get ready for the next round, going back to combinations. We are going to six punch combinations. Six punch combinations. I don't give a shit. Go complain. Can't breathe. Should be able to be like that. Shouldn't be able to breathe. I'll snort all I want. I'll be spitting, crying, bleeding, puking, pissing, boogering, whatever it takes to get the job done. Complain if you don't like it. Complain to management for the free class. All right, six punch combo. We're gonna put all six punches together. So that's a one, two, three, four, five. Six. We're gonna do a few different six punch combos here, so it's gonna be a pretty long round. Mixing, of course, starting off with our double jab and finishing after the combo with a single leg leg strike. Again, the combination is a one. Don't forget Facebook and Instagram put shit backwards. So this is a straight left, straight right, left hook, 
right hook, left upper, right upper. So chain those together for just a one, two, three, four, five, six. Straight, straight, hook, hook, upper, upper. Start with a double jab, finish with a single leg. Leg strike. Going in three, two, one. We are up. Pop, pop. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. Leg strike, reset. Double jab. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a left knee. Ha, ha. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right kick. And reset. Pop, pop. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right knee. Moving around, maintain that stance. Get in that stance, back in that balance. That home base, home position right here. Pop, pop. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going left knee. Reset. Pop, pop. One, two, three, four, five, six. Left kick. Reset. Right away, right back to it. Pop, pop. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right kick. Right back to it. Boom. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ha. Right to it, right to it. Boom. Couple more, couple more. One, one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Left knee. One more. Double. Jab. Straight, straight. Hook, hook. Up, upper. Left knee. Time. Reset. We're going right to it. We're going to go six, five, four, three, two, one. Your only break is me showing you this next combo. It's a six, five, four, three, two, one. So that's right upper, left upper, right hook, left hook, right straight, left straight. The reverse of what you just did. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Begin. So double jab to start. Then six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower body strike and reset. Double jab. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Boom. Kick. Reset. Pop. Pop. Boom. 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 Pop. Pop. Left knee. Right to the next one. Right away. Hands up. Hands up. Double jab leads the way. Upper, upper hook, hook. Straight, straight. Left kick. Reset. Boom! I got sweat covered in my eyebrows. You ever have your eyebrows so much sweat in it that it starts covering, it starts weighing, weighing down on my eyelashes. That's the way it should be. When you can drench out your eyebrows. So you got some thick ass eyebrows and you can wring them out with sweat. Literally all the sweat comes off this bald ass head and gets stuck in that eyebrow and then it starts pushing down and weighing down my eyelashes. Anyway, the, the struggles of a, a, a bald weirdo. Boom. Ah, hands up. Hands up. Double jab. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower body strike. Reset back to your stance. Upper, up, hook, hook, straight, straight. Boom, other side with the knee. Hands up, reset. Move around. Constant movement here. Boom. Reset. Pop. Pop. Up, 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 hook, hook, straight, straight. Boom. Couple more, couple more. Four, three, two, one. Boom. Bam. Pop, pop. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bam. Last one. Double jab. Right up, left up, right up, left up, right straight, left straight. Boom with the right kick. Time. Shake, shake, shake. There's not going to be any real break. Let's see where we're at. All right. So this combo, we're going to go one, three, five, two, four, six. So still a six punch combo. It's going to be one, three, five, two, four, six. So all three on the left, then all three on the right, making a six punch combo. So again, it's straight left, left hook, left upper, right straight, right hook, right upper. You can chain them together. Of course, start with the double jab, finish it with a single leg, strike. Rolling. 
We're rolling! Three, two, one, boom! Double jab. Then a one, three, five, two, four, six. Kick. Reset. Double jab. One, three, five, two, four, six. Boom! With a knee or a kick. Either side, knee or kick, doesn't matter. One, three, five, two, four, six. Bam! Reset. Low, let it roll. Low. Sometimes you just see something when I hit it. I don't even know why I swung it right there. Just sometimes it's like, all right, who's was that moving? Uh, After they finish the fight? Uh, Hulk! Avengers. Hulk and the Avengers. Yeah. We smashed everything. He's sitting around looking for something else to smash. He looked at who? Thor? Thor. And he says, boom! And he just smashed him because he just wasn't done. He wasn't done yet. He was too worked up. So you never know. He'd get too close. He might just be up. Bam! <laughs> pop, pop. One, three, five, two, four. Six, he is my favorite part of that movie. They're just sitting there after a massive battle, and he's still pumped up. And you just see Thor, douche! With that straight arm. And you go, did he go flying? Like yeah. Thor just goes flying. Good stuff! Hulk was always my favorite superhero because he didn't have any super. Keep punching. Keep punching, suckers! This is my excuse to take a break. It's a storytelling time. Excuse! Hulk was my favorite superhero because he didn't have any laser beam eyes, he couldn't fly, he didn't have some lame ass cape, and he didn't wear tights. That showed his, his nuts bulging out of all the like all the other superheroes. All he did with his superpower was just getting pissed off and letting out his rage. What a what a fucking superpower! That's some good stuff. Anyway, pop pop one three five two four six kick. One. Wait one 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 three five two four pop, six. Pop pop. Then boom. boom left left right 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 boom time. All we're doing is switching the combination. It's going to be six, four, two, five, three, one. So reverse. Show you a one-time roll because you should have this down by now. It's all three on the right in reverse order. Then all three on the left reverse order. So it's six, four, two, five, three, one. Going in. Three, two, one. Boom. Rolling. Rolling. Let's do it. Double jack. Five. Six, four, two, five, three, one. Kick. Reset, move around, energy, double jab, six, four, two, five, three, one, other side with a kick. Boom, 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 ha! And a reset, double jab, six, four, two, five, three, one, kick. Two more, two more, two more. Six, four, two, five, three, one. Ha! Bounce around. I want you bouncing. I want you having energy. Still full of energy this late in the game. Pop! Double jab. Right upper, right hook, right straight, left upper, left hook, left straight, right knee time. We're going back to exercise. It's going to be high knees right here. Oh, no. Four high knees. Or no, sorry, mountain climbers come first. I guess it's, I guess it's coming next after that. Ding, ding, ding. Bingo. Shoot him in the leg. Just shoot him in the leg. I don't care if you don't know what it means. And I know what it means. All right. 40, mat, 40 magazines. 40 mount, four mountain climbers with our combo. Let's roll. So it's two jabs, right? Hit the floor. The four mountain climbers come up, lower body strike, reset, right back to your jab. Just burn this out. One, two, three, four. Come up, lower body strike, right back to your jab. Right away. Don't even wait in between. You don't need to reset. You want to push the pace here. Pop, pop. Down the four climbers. One, two, three, four. Come up. Kick your knee. Oops, bring up my jabs. Pop, pop. Down for four. Pop, pop. Four climbers. Boom. Pop, pop. Four mountain climbers. Keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. Double jab leads the way.
away. What are you worried about, sucker? Come up. Bam. Reset. Bam. Pop. Pop. Four climbers. Three. Four. Right to it. Fast pace. You've been burning yourself out here, freak shows. Pop. Time. We're going right into run and punch. Oh my god. Four run and punches. So run and punches here. High knees and straight punches for four punches. Same game applies though. Hit that double jab, your four run and punch, and then your single leg, leg strike. Let's do it. Four run and punch is our combo slash exercise. Going in three, two, one, and go. Pop, pop. One, two, three, four. Kick. Right to it. Pop, pop. One, two, three, four. Kick on the other side. Pop, pop. One, two, three, four. Knee. Pop, pop. One, two, three, four. Other knee. We're just rotating through all the strikes here. Keep it flowing. Pop, pop. One, two, three, four. Right kick. Pop, pop. One, two, three, four. Left kick. Pop, pop. One, two, three, four. Right knee. Pop, pop. One, two, three, four. Let me three more times through all of them. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I went there, sucker. Pop, pop. One, two, three, four. Right kick. Pop, pop. One, two, three, four. Left kick. Pop, pop. One, two, three, four. Right knee, sucker. Pop, pop. One, two, three, four. Left knee. That's one time through. Two more times. Come on. Pop, pop. One, two, three, four. Hey. Right kick. Pop, pop, pop. One, two, three, four. Left kick. Pop, pop. Pop. One, two, three, four. Right knee. Pop, pop. One, two, three, four. Left knee one more time. Pop, pop. One, two, three, four. Right kick. Pop, pop. One, two, three, four. Left kick. Pop, pop. One, two, three, four. Right knee. That was your burnout, freaks. You are done. done. If you put in the work and push the way you should have pushed, you see you do not need any space. We do not need any equipment. We didn't have a bag. I am soaking wet, dripping sweat from beating the shit out of the air. That's what I'm soaked from. No. Oh. What? Huh? I don't read Russian lips. Shake it. You should have your... You had your pre-workout before, you have your post-workout recovery drink ready right away. I have my post-workout here that literally I'm sipping the second we're done because the recovery process starts right freaking now. Has my Herbalife beverage drink mix. Has my Herbalife BCAAs. Has my Trulene wellness shot and my Trulene everyday fit. All mixed together and also some powdered glutamine in there for recovery so stretch those shoulders out recovery again starts right away be prepared that's that's the key like I'll have bottles all over and ready and and funnels filled with the, the powders I need so I can make the drink right away or have it ready prepare ahead of time preparation leads to confidence because then you're confident that you know you, you're, you're prepared it's gonna lead then that confidence is going to lead to competence. Now you're competent in what you're doing. This is for all areas. This is a metaphor for everything in life. Not just your exercise, your boxing. This is for work. This is for your schedule, for your shit you're doing with your, your family. Like prepare. Have confidence. And prepare for what it's going to give you confidence when you're pre prepared. Because you know you did the due diligence. You put the piece into place. You either studied or did your homework of what you need to do. You have things ready. So you don't have to worry about, all right, now what am I going to eat? What am I going to go drink? Where's my pre-workout? Where's my post-workout? You do that shit ahead of time. You put in the time. You put in the work. So I know my shit is just ready for right when I need it at all times. And that's in business, in sales, in your fitness, your nutrition. Preparation will lead to confidence. Confidence will lead to being more competent. 
The more confident you are, the more confidence you're going to have. The more you prepare, the more confidence you're going to have. The more you prepare, the more confident you're going to be. The more you're going to get shit done, the more productive you're going to be, the more efficient you're going to get, the more fat you're going to lose. Yes, I said the fat word again. I'm not afraid to say the word fat, okay? If the word fat offends people, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, it's not an insult. It's a tissue on the freaking body, all right? So... That's, that's the, way, the way you need to be thinking about it. That's how you're going to get in the best shape of your life. That's how you're going to make more money. That's how you're going to make more freaking impact and be able to donate to the charities you want to, to, to donate to if you're just focused and prepared and disciplined. Discipline is the root of everything. Discipline is the foundation in all areas of life. That is it. People ask me, how do you, how do you stay so focused? How do you get so much done? How are you all over the place and you're so many, pulled in so many different directions? It's simple. It's discipline. Discipline. That is it. Discipline in the fitness. Discipline in the nutrition. Discipline in, in making sales calls. Discipline in, in preparing, in preparation. Discipline in all areas of life. Discipline in waking up at the same time every day. Discipline in, in going to sleep early enough that I can wake up at the same time every day. That is discipline. Discipline in not crumbling under the pressure. Discipline in, in, in not slowing down, not being... Letting the society and the internet and the viruses and all this other bullshit drag you down. Discipline to stay focused, stay on target, and to maintain your habits no matter what's going on. So no matter what could happen in the world, I'm going to be disciplined to keep my habits. So life is going to keep rolling for me no matter what. So no matter what comes along, I'll just say, so what? So what? So fucking what? So what? Because I know the pieces are in place. The preparation has been done. The due diligence has been done. The discipline is there. The consistency is there. That I'll have the confidence to say, so what? So what? Freaking figure it out. That's all there is to it. Figure out how to get that working in. Figure out how to still eat healthy, even though stores or whatever, clothes and all this other bullshit going on. Like, you let that shit control you. Stop letting that control you. Let your discipline and your habits control you. That's what you need to be doing. Take that, take, eliminate all that outside shit. Keep it at your, in your home, in your family. Like you can control that. You can control the discipline of your family and teaching them healthy habits, how to train, how to work out, how to eat healthy, how to be positive, how to get smarter, how to spend your time reading and studying and learning. That's freaking discipline. And it starts with you. It starts in your fucking home. That's where it starts. That's what it's all about. So make it happen. Stop making excuses. Stop blaming the whole world. So no matter what happens out in the world, if you have your shit in order at home, nothing else is going to matter because you're going to get your shit done. I will talk to you later. I'll stop rambling for now. You are freaking awesome. No excuses. I'm sure little freak show here has something he wants to share with you. No! Excuses! Very, very normal child. I can't imagine where he gets it from. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses.